All right, guys, so let's talk about keyword arguments. In the last video, we found out how we can pass uh, only one parameter into a function if we have the other one set up with the default value. So this will allow us to pass the first argument only. There's going to be no way to omit this and pass the age. Uh, so let's do this uh, there and let's run it. It's going to say my name is 27 and my age is unknown. Uh, now, there is another keyword in Python uh, called none, just like this. This would be a Boolean, I guess, uh, or just a keyword in general. Uh, basically, this is the equivalent to null in other languages. So we're going to save this and run this again. And it's going to say my name is none and my age is 27. There's literally no way to only pass in uh, an argument that is not the first argument, so, unless you use keyword arguments. And that is defining what variable this is supposed to be. So if we do this and hit run, we're going to see that my name is someone because we didn't define a name and my age is 27. Now we can also use this to pass in parameters in different orders. So I can say name is Nick. Right there, let's save that and run it. And you'll see that the order we're passing it in, it should, if we weren't using keyword arguments, it would say my name is 27 and my age is Nick. So by using keyword arguments, we can specify which value is supposed to go into which variable when it goes into the function. So that was actually pretty quick. Uh, that's keyword arguments and how to use them. Uh, kind of like uh, the sister uh, concept of default arguments. Um, so in the next video, we're going to be talking about an infinite number of arguments.